is about um, being in love with a close friend or someone of a different sexual orientation. All right. It's called She Loves Me Not. The trick to avoiding disappointment when tearing apart a near, nearby field flower is to never pick one with an even number of petals because they love you, they love you not, they love you, they love you not and you lose all willpower to sustain yourself because even a breathtaking sunset can't be anything more than a forgotten painting if there's no one to admire it. Truth is, I was in the desert drowning in a sea of fire and you were a glass of water. I thought of you one lunchtime because I put my last dollar into the vending machine and though it took everything I had, I got nothing back. But I don't mean to make you feel bad because you're not a vending machine and you're not broken. No, you were that drop arcade token forever stuck into the fridge out of view. It doesn't matter how far I stretch, I cannot reach you. Well, physically I can, I know, because I take in your scent every time you give me the polite hug of a friend. But I don't want to be your friend anymore. I want to be what you need. Clownfish can change their sex and if I could like them, I'd always morph into what you wanted to see. But what your needs seemed to consist of was everyone but me. Because even though Mars and Jupiter share the same stars, they're completely different planets and over 342 million miles apart. I can't understand why you want to stand so far away. I wish you were a little closer. I wish you were somehow able to give me closure. I wish you would stop strolling on clouds because no matter how many holes are in my heart, I can't get you to fall for me. I picked to the dead flesh surrounding my desires because your, but your least favorite animal is the vulture. My words were the strokes of a paintbrush, but you were deeply into sculptures. I was the room that you always ran to when you needed comfort, and though you found me useful, you didn't like the colors of my walls. I'm a trained canine whose name is never called. I put you on the highest pedestal, so why do you insist on jumping off? Why don't you at least let me catch you? Why couldn't you adore paintings? Why do you like stupid statues? And sometimes I want to hate you for not giving me a chance but then you smile when you're reading and I notice your eyes dance across the pages and it takes me to another place and sometimes I lose myself in the possibilities and I convince myself that I should give it a shot but then I see the way you look at him and I remember she loves me not.